Hey everyone, it's Andrew here, here doing our movie review, and today I'll be reviewing an exploitation action film that is Gun Woman. This has got a mixture of 70s exploitations in that kind of style of 70s, 80s exploitation with a mixture of Japanese craziness like in the style of Machine Girl, Robo Geisha, those kind of films, and Asumi, the main actress in this film, she's also from Machine Girl, so same actress from that. So yeah, the film's about this gangster who's on revenge because his wife's been killed by his group of gangsters. He wants to get revenge by employing this woman, which he gets from this warehouse where they keep like women, like um, some kind of dog pound. They like there's a mixture of American and Japanese, and like, they import like these Japanese women to keep them in cages. So they can use them for like slaves and stuff and this this man who wants to get revenge on on these people that killed his wife, he buys this woman here who is our main star, gun woman. What they do is they put like little um weapon parts inside her body. Like say like a machine girl, they actually have her as a machine with her is actually inside her, so she has to like take it out of herself, like is even up up a cha cha as well, and she like to wrench out and like shoot people. And it's really weird. As I, re I thought it's gonna be like a really silly um kind of style, like like Machine Girl, those kind of films. Like it's well, it is, but it's more serious, more actually disturbing. And it's got and like the humor, some of the humor's been taken out of it, so it is pretty serious. Definitely from Japan, so <laughs> that's pretty surprising to me, but. It's got a mixture of American and Japanese because it's in America, but it's got a lot of Japanese actors as well. But the, these Japanese gangsters who own these women, and um, yeah, I think I think the Japanese acting was stronger than American. American was a bit wooden, but the Japanese part of this film was was really strong. And how the two um, different different um, nationalities, how they communicate. Each, how to communicate with each other is pretty good. Um, really good, I thought. So yeah, they choose they choose this girl. She like strips off naked. She has this really weird surgery, and they make us they make a guy's mission to go inside this of the layer of where all these gangsters are and to take them all out because they can't go in themselves because they'll get killed. So they use hers as like a little um, a way of killing them, and they. And she gets like some kind of like, I forgot what it was, but she gets like some kind of reward for doing it by let her free because she's like this weird slave. A lot of good blood and goreness as well. I'm um, really disturbing, which I really liked. And it's just a really good film. It's not what I expected, but it is really good. Um, so yeah, I recommend you see it. It's definitely, um, definitely reminding me of those kind of films in the 70s and the 80s. Of, exploitation cinema that kind of feel um at the beginning it was much like that but it's got that it's got that crazy kind of feel to a, a, a typical japanese film but not too crazy if you get what i mean but definitely worth checking out if you like those kind of films and you like um that kind of a kind of um films a bit different that you wouldn't necessarily see before then definitely check those out so yeah that's been my quick review of gun woman if you haven't let have seen it, please let me know what you think. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and goodbye. Cheers.